I believe I learned more about investing, long-term investing, by studying this weekly chart of Amazon than anything I've done in, in the last year. And I looked at it and I said, what caused this? That looks like a pothole in the road. You know, we're cruising along and wham, we come down and then we come right back up. Well, I know what caused this. I know in 2020, we had the uh, coronavirus and everybody was stuck at home and getting mailbox checks from the government. And so we bought stuff, okay? And Amazon had a tremendous growth period uh, from the beginning of 2020 through uh, the end of really of 2021. And then in 2022, the bottom fell out of it. What caused that? And so I, I, I go back to Amazon became a depressed stock. Amazon was chugging along and was generating earnings per share uh, of $3, $4 per share. And then in 2022, they showed a loss. They showed a loss of about, I think it was $0.02 cents per share. What caused that? So... It's cause and effect, if you, if you want to know. Uh, they made a major investment in Ravian, the electric car, because, again, Amazon experienced, as a result of the COVID virus, a tremendous rush in delivering packages. And they said, and they spent a ton of money at UPS and FedEx. We got to stop that. And one of the efforts was we got to build our own fleet of electric vehicles to make deliveries. And that was their investment in Ravion. And then we got to build beyond our distribution centers and create one-hour centers. And so they spent a ton of money building those one-hour centers. We've got one, I would say, five miles from me. And I can order something today and have it tomorrow. But Amazon made a tremendous investment in that. So... With that in mind, I'd say if you could buy Amazon at any time in the past, where would you have wanted to buy it? And I'd say in the near past, it would have been somewhere around January the 1st of 2023. It cause and effect. Can we learn from that? Can we learn that we have a rush in the build out of data centers, but we have a slowdown in the buying of the products that use semiconductors, other than NVIDIA's data centers. We can look at some stocks that were very involved in the EV market that surged and then collapsed, and now we're going to adjust to that as AI takes effect and brings a need for us to update our PCs, our phones, our toasters, our our refrigerators. So we need to look for stocks that have a cause and effect relationship. We need to find stocks that are depressed as a result of something that has happened over the last 12 months, but will correct itself over the next 12 months. And that's why I've bought companies like AEHR, Uh, They are going to benefit from the surge in the need for semiconductors that work, and they have a testing product. That's why I've bought On Semiconductor, who was very involved and profited from the EV market, but then has come down. And I said EV market now three times. What about Tesla? This is our chart of Tesla. And, and we all know what this was. This is the excitement about Elon Musk in his new electric vehicle and reached a peak in uh, uh, November of 2021 and then started its slide and came to its, its low point in January of 2023, showed some strength, and then has come back down. So, again, take into consideration cause and effect of what we saw with uh, Amazon, and what can we predict is going to happen with Tesla? I believe that you're going to see a research. You're going to look at this much as you looked at tes- at uh, 
at Amazon and said a pothole. Now, I believe Amazon's was self-inflict- self-inflicted pothole. I don't believe it was self-inflicted on, um, on Tesla. I remember attending this, this earnings call. Well, I guess it was about here in October of 22 when uh, Elon said, we aren't selling as many cars because interest rates are up and everybody buys a car on time. And so the price of our cars have gone up. So our sales have come down. So I look at this and I say, uh, uh, Elon and Tesla is dependent upon uh, Jerome Powell and interest rates. And if interest rates um, come down and Tesla's become more affordable and Elon is adjusting by making less expensive automobiles, you're going to see Tesla come back up to this $417 price tag. Cause and effect. There's, there's numerous uh, opportunities in this. I call them depressed stocks. I call them my moonshots. We have, we have some stocks, again, who are reacting to the surge in NVIDIA and the problems that NVIDIA's new chips are creating in data centers, and that's heat, um, and that's, that's the consumption of electricity. Uh, so cause and effect will give you opportunities. I break this out on my cheat sheet. Uh, and, and again, I think you need to realize the price of a stock is only dependent upon two things, and that is its earnings per share and its P-E ratio. The earnings per share are, is, is uh, a factor of how profitable a company is, how well managed they are, how much revenue do they, they produce, and turn that into profits. And then the P-E ratio is a factor of the temperament of the marketplace. How much does the marketplace value the future earnings of a stock? And I believe you are going to see Tesla's future earnings valued once interest rates change. Is now the time to buy Tesla? Well, I would recognize that this is its 200-day moving average. Tesla has made, in the last two weeks, a strong move above the 200-day moving average. Do you want to wait and try to buy it down here? I wouldn't. Uh, I think now is the time for me, anyway, to start building a position in Tesla. Maybe even take a major step into Tesla. I, I agree with um, Kathy Woods. I think that the real uh, asset that Tesla owns is not a motor vehicle. It's not a car. It's the data they have that is going to lead us to autonomous driving, that is going to change our driving habits entirely, that is going to turn at least one of our cars into a money-making machine as a robo-taxi, or at least present us with that opportunity. So, I, I'm ready. I'm ready to take a position in Tesla. I think it's time for you to consider that as well. It's not, Homer, an automobile company. You're right. It's a tech company. And it's going to be one of the most influential tech companies as AI partners with Tesla to bring us autonomous automobiles and turn our car, at least one of our cars, into a money-making proposition. This will change lives. I mean, think of a, a young person who has a job that takes him from him or her from 7 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the evening, and that car sits idle until he drives home, and then it sits idle again from 6 in the evening till 6 in the morning. What if, in those spans of non-use, it can become a money-making proposition? That's a part of our future, and I think Tesla is going to be a part of it. So I am hereby announcing I'm buying Tesla.